Hi guys, it's Ashley, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I customized my blank Rainy Cakes Dolly Pack of Vinyl. I backed for this vinyl on their Kickstarter, so I'm not sure if this is available anymore, but I hope you enjoy watching the process anyway. So my first step was to uh, spray down the vinyl with Mr. Super Clear. I'm sure there were other ways for me to have done this, but I am a doll customizer, so I am using the tools that I know and have. When working with MSC, make sure to always wear the proper protective gear. So after spraying down the pieces of the vinyl, I started laying down acrylic. Because I had such a specific idea in mind for this uh, vinyl, I did end up doing a digital mock-up just so I had the proper idea down. I wanted it to be kind of an unripe strawberry, so uh, that's what I'm working on achieving with the gradient. The reason I chose this kind of strawberry was because it was always my favorite kind of strawberry to eat when I was younger, was like the ones with a little bit of white on them. So throughout this video, you'll probably see me pull my project off of the camera to get a closer look at it as I'm working on it. I'm still getting used to holding my project underneath the camera as I'm working on it. As, you know, this is my first attempt at doing a toy project, you know. I promise you, you do not miss that much when the project comes off of camera um it's probably just me like fixing a small piece of the painting or whatever since the strawberry gradient was such an important feature to me i went back several times while working on it to make sure it was you know the way i wanted to and looked nice after the gradient um it's basically just me laying down flat colors so i'll pop back in after that
starting to lay down uh, the details for this painting. Um, and this is where I hit my first snag. It really wouldn't have mattered, but I didn't have a white watercolor pencil. I had one at one point, and I have no clue where it could have gone. This heart is also like off center or like slightly not symmetrical. I don't know. Something the when I look at the finished piece, it's better than it is here, but like I think it's slightly off center. So at this point, I felt comfortable enough to put the two pieces together. I used a hairdryer and just heated it up until it was soft enough to squish in together. So here is where I really hit a big snag. I had always intended to do the face with pastels and watercolor pencils, which is not un uncommon in like a uh, doll repaint. But for whatever reason, I don't know if it was because I'd used primarily uh, acrylic paint for the base layer, which you wouldn't, might not necessarily do in a doll repaint, or I didn't spray the uh, surface with MSC enough, but I couldn't get my pastels to stick and my watercolor pencils did not work. So I ended up using all acrylic paint for this piece and uh, it was fine. I did end up buying watercolor pencils and new pastels, which I haven't tried out yet, but um, I think they'll be a lot better. <laughs> because I ended up not being able to use my watercolor pencils, I, uh, you know, just had to take everything a lot slower. Like these cheek circles, you'll see me wipe things away with my finger and, you know, just take it really slow. <laughs> Like this clip that you're watching right now of me painting the left cheek circle is sped up by two times. <laughs> That's how slow I was going.
So after I finish off the details, uh, painting these leaves, it is time for one last spray of Mr. Super Clear or MSC. And here she is, all finished. Um, the character, I believe, is named Dolly, but I am going to nickname mine Shortcake. Welcome to the Desk Crew Shortcake, and thank you everyone for watching.